Your second stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. Our forecast from Pat Pagano calls for a sunny day today, high around 40. Tomorrow, sunny, 35 to 40. Thursday, sun with developing clouds, 35 to 40. And Friday, windy with a wintry mix changing, possibly to rain, 35 to 40. But heavy snow and ice accumulation are possible in the north and the west from the Catskills to the Berkshires. We'll check the details on that forecast in just a few moments with our meteorologist, Pat Pagano. Well, Connecticut doctors say, mask up. Medical experts are urging people as COVID, flu, RSV infections are on the rise. Quote, we are seeing an increase in the number of patients with respiratory infections, including the flu, COVID, and RSV, according to the spokeswoman for the Waterbury Hospital last week, New York City Health Commissioner, urged New Yorkers to use high-quality masks when indoors and in crowded outdoor settings, in addition to getting vaccinated and boosted. Christopher Boyle, a spokesman for the Connecticut Department of Public Health, said a variety of measures, including wastewater surveillance, are, quote, all indicating an increase in COVID-19 activity in Connecticut, end quote. Local health care professionals also have urged masking, vaccination, and boosting to protect against illness during the holiday season. A story in the Republican American by Ruth Epstein, 12 Days of Christmas in Cornwall, song scenes created by local artists enliven the holiday season in Cornwall. Scenes from the 12 Days of Christmas are found on storefronts throughout the village, featuring dazzling colors and eye-catching figures that have attracted scores of visitors during its opening on Saturday evening. This is the third year of the project, which organizer Bill McLean said hopes will eventually lead to a walkable gallery over time. Organizers Bianca Griggs, owner of the Wish House, said, quoting here now, our artists use historic rhyme as a launch pad for their own flights of fancy, end quote. This year's artists are Partridge in a Pear Tree by Eileen Gargan and Mike Redman, Turtle Dust by Danielle Mailer, French Horns by Cornwall Consolidated School 8th grade art students, Calling Birds by Suzanne Feta and Cornwall Historical Society, Hares Are Running by Ella Mashura, Fish Afloating by Gail Jacobson, Swan Swimming by Nancy Bevins, Maids of Milking by Teresa Pattison, Ladies Dancing by Michael Hemming, Ships A Sailing by Connie Strewall, and also Typers Typing by Nick Jacobs, and finally Twelve Drummers Drumming by Sally Van Dorn. The scenes will be up through January 6th. Maps are available at Three Guys Ski and Ride, The Wish House, and Covered Bridge Electric Bike Shop. The works are available for sale, by the way, in whole or part. Well, after months of negotiations, the union that represents employees at Massachusetts Museum of Contemporary Art has a contract. In a story in the Berkshire Eagle, after 14 months of bargaining, the members voted overwhelmingly in favor of ratifying the first contract. In April of 2021, employees voted to form a union with UAW Local 2110 AFL-CIO. The union has about 100 people in a range of jobs at the museum, including curators, box office staff, office workers, and custodians. The contract voted on by members late last month includes meaningful wage increases for the majority of the membership, according to Mauro Elliott, a member of the Union Bargaining Committee who works as manager of the institutional giving at the museum. The contract includes substantive pay increases, among other benefits. The museum said in a statement, in the past year, the museum undertook a comprehensive position-by-position equity increase in order to make salary levels equitable and nationally competitive, and under the new contract, pay increases for the unionized employees will take effect, according to the museum. The union also has filed unfair labor practice complaints with the National Labor Relations Board, and one resulted in a retroactive pay bump after not receiving the expected raise. Once again, a reminder, on December 20th, there's an update on the gas bill remediation in Norfolk as part of the series of town meetings to keep people informed to give public the latest information about remediation efforts following the 8,200-gallon gas gas bill by an overturned tanker truck on Route 44 back on November the 5th. 
Once again, a couple of fundraising efforts still going on. The Adopt-A-Family program in Millerton is looking to give out gift cards to needy families in their area. If you'd like to donate or you need help, 518-789-4508. And remember the Sunday in the Country Food Drive, Gay Boy Take Thanksgiving Dinner. Well, they're going to do the same for Christmas. If you would like to help out by donating, uh, you can contact them at Sunday in the Country Food Drive. Dot O-R-G. Taking a look at some town meetings going on in Sharon today. The Board of Selectmen meet at 3 p.m. Housatonic River Commission has a meeting tonight at 7.30. The Salisbury Recreation Committee has a meeting today in Salisbury at 7.30. Coming up on Thursday, the Salisbury Affordable Housing Commission at 5.30. In North Canaan, tomorrow at 7.30, the Board of Finance on Thursday at 7 p.m. Inland Wetlands. In Falls Village, coming up tomorrow at 6.30 at Falls Village Town Hall. Planning and zoning a public hearing and special meeting. Meanwhile, in Cornwall tomorrow at 5 p.m., the Wastewater Committee is having a Zoom meeting, and Planning and Zoning Commission is meeting via Zoom as well. In Kent tomorrow, the Kent Sewer Commission regular meeting at 4 p.m., and the Board of Appeals regular meeting comes up at 7 p.m. Meanwhile, in Dover, New York, on the 14th, a Town Board special meeting and public hearing on a draft town comprehensive plan. In Hillsdale, the Town Board has a meeting that is coming up Tonight at 7 p.m. at Town Hall. In Sheffield, the first floor meeting room at Town Hall. The Board of Health will be meeting tonight. That at 5.30. The Sheffield Historical Society Winter Wonderland Light Display is on and going and running through January 1st. It's in the parking lot of the municipal lot that the Winter Wonderland is right next to it. The annual Gingerbread House Workshop is happening at the Douglas Library. That is tomorrow, 4 to 5 p.m. The event is absolutely free. Also tomorrow in Salisbury, a candlelight vigil to remember the 10th anniversary of the Sandy Hook tragedy and all victims of gun violence. That would be held tomorrow from 5 to 6 p.m. in front of the White Hart Inn, Route 41 and 44 in Salisbury. You're asked to please bring a candle. A blue Christmas service is happening Wednesday at 7 p.m. at St. John of the Wilderness in Copake Falls. The Falls Village tree lighting and holiday celebration will be held December 17th at 4.30. Santa coming down Main Street, tree lighting and carols at 4.30 on the town green. And then Santa will be inside the center on Main for you to visit. An international guitarist, Hayao Yoshimoto, brings his innovative and world-centric music to the Stissing Center at Pine Plains on Saturday, December 17th for one night only. The evening performance begins at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6.30. There's general admission seating. Tickets and more information are available at their website. Sharon Audubon's Trixie Strauss Christmas Bird Count will take place on December 18th. It's a free event known in the area as the Christmas Bird Count. It occurs on Sunday from 12.01 midnight. Sharon Audubon's count area is a 15-mile area in Sharon, Salisbury, and Falls Village, Connecticut, and Amenia and Northeast in New York State. More information at 860-364-0520. And the annual menorah lighting in Sharon will happen on the 18th of December at 4.30 on the town green. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken. You can find them at interlakenin.com, also on Facebook and Instagram, where they feature a regular menu, a tapas menu, and dinner specials nightly, interlakenin.com, and Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off the day today at 33,734.00, the S&P 500 at 3931.50, and the NASDAQ at 11,667.00. Point double zero. We'll take a look at that tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio.